Hello my ascended brothers and sisters, this is Solus121 of Real Hardware Reviews and today I have a multi-part review for you, including the i3-6100, the AMD A10-7800, the Wraith Cooler, and a fancy giveaway at the very end. So make sure to stay tuned till the very end to hear the giveaway. First you might be asking yourself, why are we reviewing the A10-7800 when there are already much newer options from Intel out these days around the same price point? We want to show that maybe because AMD hasn't come out with a new APU in quite some time, they still contend very high with the new Skylake processors, especially in the lower cost i3s, comparing the i3-6100 at $111 to the A10-78 for $112. Is that one dollar going to give you much of a difference? In our minds, it actually does. Before we go any farther into how these two great CPUs contend with each other, let's focus on the Wraith. The Wraith may not be included in the APU we are reviewing here, but it is included in our upcoming review. We really enjoyed the Wraith and playing around with it, we found it really was like an AM3 or AM3 plus HSF just on steroids. It's much larger, yet it looks very similar to the older coolers. It does perform extremely well, as you can see here, over the stock performance of 70 degrees on the 7800. We were getting 56 degrees, and it was completely stomping the Intel solution. When it came to fan noise, it again was very silent, being almost 20 decibels quieter than the i3-6100 stock cooler. And it did not contend with the Noctua's, but it still was a great option. At first glance on our test bed, the Wraith looked like it was barely going to fit onto the motherboard, but it fit quite well. Even with the four RAM banks filled, it fit very nicely and cools the RAM very well. Compared to the stock cooler, it's actually not a lot bigger on the side, just about one to two millimeters more spacing there. It looks great and it performs extremely well. But that's it for the Wraith for now. Let's jump back into this great APU and CPU and focus on which one we'd recommend. Outside of games, the i3-6100 seems to trade blows with the a 10 in what applications you're running. All around, the i3-6100 seems to have quite a bit more processing power. When it comes to anything GPU-wise, the i3-6100 completely gets dominated by the a 10 as we'll look at in the gaming performance now. When it comes to onboard graphics, the a 10 hands down destroys the i3-6100 on every game and application we tested when it came to raw graphics power. This is quite sad as the i3-6100 is quite a bit newer and the price difference is only a dollar or two. The a 10 really is a diamond in the rough if this is all you can afford to build at the time of. For around $200, $250, you are getting an amazing gaming rig that can handle some great games at medium, low, and sometimes high settings if you're running around 720p, or if you're throwing old games in there like Call of Duty or CSGO and things like that, you'll be completely fine and very happy with your purchase. All in all, we are completely amazed in these two processors. The A10-7800 though is hands down the winner if you are looking for a value processor. The i3-6100 though may be great if you have an option of throwing a discrete graphics card in there. If you cannot afford that, jump over to the A10-7800 and AMD does have your back. This processor with its stock cooler will offer you all you need. It's a little bit louder than we'd like with the stock cooler, but once you throw in a Wraith or an upgraded cooler, you have nothing to worry about. Sadly, the A10-7800 does not come with a Wraith, but the 7890K for about $30 more does. Now we'll move on to why you're probably here. We are giving away a $20 CAD Steam card provided by the RHR crew. All you have to do is like, comment, or subscribe, and in one week's time, we will draw a winner. Thanks for hitting us up, and again, we will be doing another giveaway on our form as well as our social media, so make sure to follow us, like us, and hit up the form at any chance you get. The form and all these other links are in the description below. Thank you, and have an awesome day.